the for holiday. Welcome to an Epic Mod and Toys video. I feel like I didn't even get everybody out. I was like, you're being the what is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mod Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have yet again another surgery episode for you guys. Very excited to get into surgery today. We have Elite 80 featured. Don't have the full wave. You know, I didn't feel like Ivar really needed anything. Pretty much perfect figure from head to toe. Bailey, I wanted to work on, but I don't know if I want to pull the trigger on fixing her makeup or not. I'm just going to kind of see how I feel about it in the next few days. You know, take a sleep on it. You know, sometimes it's better to sleep on things than to sleep with things, if you get what I'm saying. So, we're going to sleep on that one. And then the final final figure in the set, which was Kyle O'Reilly. Since he's not in the War Games gear, I don't have an extra Kyle O'Reilly in War Games gear. I don't have anything to do with that figure, so we're going to have to wait around until we get both War Games Kyle O'Reilly's in here. Then we can fix those up with possibly Bobby Fish and the rest of Undisputed Era. Possibly get them all together there. We'll have to see. But today, I think we have some pretty epic swappages and switches going on, and I'm actually very excited to get into it. So let's shut the hell up and get into it, guys. So if you guys picked up Elite Series 80, you may want to do these things to your figure, or maybe you have some other ideas for them. You guys know the first thing. We always start off with the guy on the stretcher. So the first guy up is going to be none other than Mr. Ricochet in his supposed to be Nightwing gear, but the blue did not meet up. You know, he, he didn't meet us at the meeting here. So the blue is more of a Concord. It's it's definitely not the right Nightwing blue, but uh, we're not going to we're not gonna just crucify the man here today. We're going to fix him up a little bit. Now, the one thing that I thought about doing is I have a few ideas, and the first one would be, you know, just paint over the wrist tape. You could just paint over the wrist tape, leave it as is with the white wrist tape. I'm not going to do that. I am actually going to switch his arms out with his Elite 69 figure so that he has the black wrist tape here. So that way when we switch it over, he will have black wrist tape to tie in with his black attire, his black knee pads, his black boots, and it'll be all uniformed together. But the only thing that we're not going to do is on his left arm. His left arm that doesn't have tattoos on it. You see this one right here? We're going to take this off and put it over here. This arm is going to go over here. This arm will come over here to cut, you know, to have the black wrist tape look and not have this continuation here. But his right arm, or his left arm over here, will be switched out for this Jeff Hardy sleeved arm, because these blues look pretty John Brown similar. So, I think this will be a perfect matchup, and you guys know that Ricochet wears sleeves sometimes. He usually wears a white sleeve. He typically wears, like, a white sleeve, but I think the blue sleeve will look sick AF on this Ricochet figure, with the black wrist tape arm over here. Ties into the black and the and the blue that's going on on his gear. And possibly at a later date, we may paint uh, his belt in blue and white or something. I don't know. We'll see about that. I'm I'm going to sleep on that one as well. But today we are going to switch that arm out, switch that arm out. And I almost switched out his boots with Ric Flair boots. You know, the, the blue ones with the white outsoles. I decided against that. And we're going to just ride with the black boots for now. We may switch it out for white boots even. I don't know. Again, lots of things have went through my mind with this. But I think I'm going to pull the trigger on these switches today. And we can always switch them in the future. But I think that's what we're going to go with today. And hopefully that all turns out great. Next up, we got to fix up our Eric figure, right? Because Eric is looking like a stupid jackass over here with his jump. Johnny Gargano syndrome. Today, you will be clear. We're going to do some surgery, and we're going to get rid of this Johnny Gargano syndrome that we got going on over here. We're going to switch out his lower legs that you guys see in the back here, the long skinny. We're going to switch that out with AJ Styles' lower legs so that this will look 152 times better. Not only are we going to do that, when we switch out the lower legs for these AJ Styles' lower legs in the black so that the thigh paint or the thigh tape continues down in black, we're going to switch out the kick pads that he's wearing for these all-black Finn Balor kick pads. We are going to have to acetone that off later. So we are going to acetone this off. I actually have some acetone to my right, so I'll probably acetone that off. And then we're going to switch out his feet for the feet that come on this guy, which is in this like cherry red brown color on top. And I have a couple browns and cherry reds over here that we'll look at. I feel like when you put this cherry red color over this, uh, you know, the black feet or the, the black kick pads on the face of this Finn Balor kick pads, I feel like that's going to fix it and give it that more brownish red color. We'll have to see. It's not completely feasible, but we'll have to see. We'll definitely see how that looks, but I think that kick pad look will look a lot better than what we got going on right here, so we're definitely going to do that. Very fixable. Make Eric look better. Fix him up nice, and that should be good. And the last figure we have is my boy Kevin Owens. Now, today, we're not going to be painting this Kevin Owens head skull because I really am just not feeling like painting this hoe today. I'm just not in a paint mood. I do not feel like painting a head sculpt that takes a lot of time and effort and energy. We're going to wait on that one. We are going to, however, try and switch these head sculpts. Now that is going to be very dangerous because then later on I can just paint this head sculpt and put it on a different figure. So we're going to attempt to try and head swap these two Kevin Owens figures. You guys can see mine on the right looks a lot better than the one on the left. So putting this custom painted head sculpt over on the Elite 80 KO should fix the figure. It should fix the figure and make it look a hundred times better. Hopefully that's the case. I thought I was going to have to fix up his lift tattoo. Mattel ended up fix 
fixing it for us. So that is nice that we don't have to go through that trouble, but I feel like that's what we're going to do today. I th I'm feeling pretty good about it. We're going to see how it goes, but our first order of business is going to be Ricochet, and so that is what we're going to do. I also forgot to mention on the Ricochet, once we switch these arms over to the Elite 69 figure, I am going to... I, I, f I wanted to put white boots on him on the Elite 69 figure, and I also want to paint over the tattoo right here on the wrist tape because uh, that doesn't look good. That, that, that wouldn't solve the issue, so we're going to paint over that with our white paint as well. So let's shut the hell up and dive into the surgery, guys. We got some stuff to do, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so starting out first, we are going to get Ricochet handled, so we do have to switch out his arms, and not only do we have to switch out his arms, but we also have to switch out the Jeff Hardy arm that's over here. And one day I'll do something with this Jeff Hardy so he won't just be armless all day. We will fix him up at, at one time, you know, so one day. One day we'll fix him up, but for day, today's not the day, all right? So we're going to put him in position. We are also going to put our Ricochet in position right here, and that should be good to go right there. And while I'm at it, I might as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk it, though. I kind of want to put Eric's lower legs in front of here and AJ Styles to see if we can go ahead and switch him out, but I don't know how successful that's going to be. At least just pulling him off, you know? Even if we're not, like, completely doing all the switching between them, I could at least, like, just get the lower legs off and, and all that ish. So I'll probably just do that just to do it, but I, I don't know. Let's just put it in there. You know, it may work. It may not work, but at least it will be heated up. So we're just going to heat up all this together here in a nice big pile. And I, I might as well stick the Finn Balor lower legs in here as well because I got to remove these kick pads anyways, and it's just a big piece of ass. All right, so there we go there. And now we got to get the white trusty hair dryer. I have a heat gun, but that would just melt the plastic. So let's just shut the hell up. You got to put it in front of the stuff first, you stupid jackass. All right, guys, I left that on there. You know, I left that hoe on there just to make sure we could get all of this stuff going on. We're going to find out if it's even plausible here. So the first arm pulls right off. Got the other arm. It pulled right off. Will the Jeff arm pop off? It will. You love to see it. Let's put this sleeved arm over here. And oh, God in heaven, that is Fire-rific. I'm going to go ahead and pull the hand out and stick it over here just because. So we got that hand in there. Can we go ahead and pop off the AJ Styles? See, see, this is what I was afraid of. The, the other jackassery. The jackassery leg over here didn't really get heated up whatsoever. Good God in heaven. It's like harder than it was before. I somehow miraculously got it off. We're still going to have to heat that up anyways. But Jesus, man, that, that ish didn't get heated up a, a John Brown bit. All right, for Eric, this popped off nicely. You love to see that. Get that thing out of there. Pop this leg off. See, this leg got a little bit. It didn't get near. It got way more than the AJ Styles leg, that's for sure. But there's the other clip. Um, I don't know if this even got a John Brown blessed piece of nothing. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I figured the fit, the, the like, d disconnecting kick pads from lower legs like this is really difficult. But even, like, you could put all the heat on it in the world, and it's still kind of difficult. So, yeah. How about that, hoe bag? All right, so for the feet, I don't, I, I highly doubt we even got, okay, we got the one foot. Can we get this foot off? Can we get both feet off? That one didn't get a John Brown thing. I love it. I'm just, Ugh. All right, the ricochet arm there. This ricochet arm, got that. And we got to plug this over here on this ricochet. So our Nightwing ricochet really is pretty much completely done. Our Elite 80 ricochet, we'll take a closer look at him later on because we pretty much got all of his ish taken care of already. So that was fast. He was in and out in a jiffy. And we'll look at him in a minute. But now for the rest of the class, we still have to pop on this ish like that. Got to put this hand in here because we want both the, the white wrist tape put this arm in here. I'm not done with this because we still have to paint it, which won't be much at all. It's literally nothing, so I don't even know if I'll show that, but there's the white wrist tape. We're not done with him, so he'll go on the he'll go on the freaking, what's it called? The the freak, what is it called? He'll go on deck. He's on deck now. Jesus Christ. Jeff Hardy's done. We didn't really do nothing with him, but he's in pieces with AJ over here. Um, Now what we have to do is we have to put these lower legs of AJ onto this Eric figure and also pop off the kick pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug these these pegs into Eric's lower legs and so from there we're going to heat up the AJ lower legs and kick pads we're gonna move Eric out of the way we're gonna bring the trusty hair dryer back into frame here we're going to hook up or we're gonna heat up this and this to get these feet off because we remember we got to get these feet off we're gonna heat up this and this and then this and this and I'm really John Brown afraid to 
to heat up the uh, the Kevin Owens head sculpts right now because I don't know how much heat I need and it's going to have to be at a perfect amount of heat because if it's any heat over what we need, we're going to ruin the, the head sculpts because the beard's so long we could tear the ear and stuff which we'll get into but Jesus man, we could really mess up here. Got to be really careful, take it one step at a time and let's just get into it. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we got to connect this AJ leg to this lower leg of Eric. Mmm, it's freaking hot, but I think we can do it if we just, we don't blow it. All right, we got that. Now, will this kick pad just pop off right here? It will. We'll put that AJ kick pad over there. Love to see that. Now, slide this up a little bit. Don't tear it like Ivar's freaking knee pad did in the review. Ridiculous. Oh, Santa Claus hell. Oh, God. All right, we got it. Got that. Love to see it. <laughs> uh, is this the right or left? This is the left. So we're going to plop this into here. Love to see it. Now plop this one into here. Love to see it. Now one thing I thought about is why in the hell am I going to pull this foot off and try to paint match this when I can just paint it in my own brick red color and try to match the knee pads as much as possible instead of putting this foot in there and then trying to match the foot or should I just leave the kick pads black? Lots of options here. But regardless I got to pop this other foot back on here wherever the hell I put it. Ridiculous. I don't think this ain't going to go on here. It's not even heated up you dumb jackass. Or will it? Did that actually go? No way. Holy shit, it actually worked. Huh, that's a first? All right, well, uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think trying to paint it would just be a pain in the arse. So just leaving them black and then removing the rainbows from the back is probably what's gonna be best. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. All right, so we'll move Eric over here to the side. Now, the next order of business, these right here, like, see, I was gonna take the kick pads and then try to paint on these logos on the sides, which I guess I could still do, but because I don't think it would be that difficult at all, but putting on the feet would kind of just be dumb because then you'd have to paint paint match and mix a bunch of paints trying to get the right color and then covering black is already a headache so I think we're just gonna go with the solid black kick pads and just roll with it. I think that would probably be the best deal but next we have to switch out our KO head sculpts and Jesus man I do not look forward to this. This is something that I am dreading man. I do not want to do this. I am afraid but I hate this ginger head sculpt because it looks nothing like Kevin Owens beards but I don't want to paint it. Oh man. Hmm. Let's, uh, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We're just gonna shut up and do it. Let's just do it. Mmm. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's, oh, Jesus Christ. Let's just, uh, whoo. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's just test it. Let's just see what's going on. Okay, I feel like... Oh, God. Like, you see when you pull the beard? Look how it, like... You see how it, like, pulls out that hard, dude? Oh, jeez, man. We gotta be safe here. I'm so afraid of this shit. Because I don't want to damage the beard. All right, I got it off. I got that one off without any damage. Now, the biggest thing is going to be getting this other one off. That one, you know, I didn't have any, like, paint or, or sculpt or anything to ruin. All right, I think we actually successfully did this ish, dude. I got them both popped off. Let's put this head sculpt over here, and then we're going to be home free. All right, that one's on there, and now we got to put this head sculpt over here, and I'm going to have to repaint this again at a later date, and I'll probably I'll probably end up switching this head sculpt on to some Kevin Owens from the Pick Fed or something, but we did it, man. We freaking did it. Hell yeah. Also, another thing I figured out, one other thing I figured out is you actually cannot acetone these rainbows off, which I feel like I knew in the past because I think we tried to do that with a Neville one time, and it didn't work on the Neville, so you cannot acetone these, uh, you know, the rainbow off here. You have to paint over it, so I guess... I'm just gonna have to paint over that and then seal it up and I'm gonna have to do the same thing for Ricochet over here with his uh, white wrist tape so I guess that's what I'm about to do I don't know if I'll time lapse that or if I'll just see you guys in the next segment of the video but uh I'll see you guys anyways in the next segment of the video all right, guys, here's everything after we have conducted all of the surgery here today. And I know it wasn't the longest episode of all time, you know, or anything like that, but we got some good things done, you know. I'm still waiting on this wrist tape to dry over here. We did fix that up. We painted over the tattoo that got printed on there, and we sealed it up. We're just waiting on it to finish sealing. The hand was stuck back in there, so, I mean, the hand's probably going to seal to the arm. Not the biggest deal. I can just break it when I rotate it or whatever, but there's the Elite 69 fix-up. I wasn't really concerned about it, but I did want to switch the black wrist tape over to the other figure, and since, you know, this will be armless, 
I didn't want a normless ricochet, I could just put some white boots or something on here to complete the fix up, you know, to tie that white into the tights, into the boots a little bit more uniform, but uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. But there is the ricochet there. Here is the Eric figure. I like the way this looks much better. It just, it doesn't look dumb. He doesn't have Johnny Gargano syndrome anymore. I would definitely like to see these in brown, and I don't think there's any figures with brown kick pads. If there's any figures with brown kick pads, I think it's what, Kofi Kingston? I think Kofi Kingston, maybe one of those figures, either the WrestleMania one or, or one of those WrestleMania figures, I think, for Kofi possibly has brown kick pads. I'll see about that. If we have brown kick pads, I will figure out a way to get this guy some brown kick pads, but we did paint over the rainbow in the back and sealed it up in black, and that looks good. I like the way this looks better. He's still taller than KO, and he's supposed to be 6'2", so, you know, I guess that works for sure. There is Eric. He definitely looks a lot better. My God, I cannot stand those weird legs, but there is Eric. We also have our two Kevin Owens, and look how much better the Elite 80 Kevin Owens looks with the accurate beard. Like, look at that, dude. Oh, my goodness gracious alive. Look at it. It just looks so much better. The only thing now is I'm going to have to repaint the other head sculpt, which is right here on the Elite 66. So my custom downgrades his head, but the Elite 80 gets a good head sculpt. And we are going to have, like, whenever I put that onto another figure, that is going to be uh, interesting to have to repaint that. It sucks, but it is what it is. And then finally, guys, we do have our Ricochet with the blue sleeve and the black wrist tape. And this turned out fire. I love the way this looks. I can always appreciate a good sleeve on a figure. The blue ties in good. Kick pads. The black boots, the one and only. Again, if I painted the belt blue, I think it would look a lot better too. But the black wrist tape and the blue sleeve tying into the rest of it. You could even put a black sleeve on here if you wanted to. Blue boots or blue laces or something. There's something we could definitely do to this figure probably a little bit more. But I like the way it turned out. I like the Elite 80 Ricochet fix up. And, you know, we'll roll with it. We'll definitely roll with it. If we find another at retail, maybe we can make another fix up in a different way. But that is going to do it for all of the surgery we have today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to leave me a like and comment down in the comment section below for a potential shout out in our next video. A huge shout out to Mini King 22 for a comment on our last video. He says, I liked because I don't want Kevin Owens to beat me up. Laughing, crying emoji. That is funny. You know, Kevin Owens was pretty pissed off yesterday. In yesterday's video, we had a goal of hitting 2,000 likes. Today, it has about 1.4K, so I appreciate that. I guess the goal for this video will be around 1,200 or so, so that'd be pretty fantastic. That'd be pretty fantastic if we could hit that goal, so leave me a like down below. But don't forget to comment for a potential shout out, and I appreciate you guys watching this surgery video all the way through. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.